and thanks to Adam. Uh, a key focus for tonight has been demonstrating why PlayStation delivers the best place to play today and in the future. You've seen that in the diverse portfolio of games coming from our worldwide studios and our close partners. And we're also bringing this to life in new ways with hardware. When we designed PS4, we made a conscious decision to make it the most powerful gaming console ever created and surround it with breakthrough games, features, network capabilities, and peripherals that together would redefine next-gen gaming. A key peripheral that we've offered to PS4 gamers since launch as a choice oh, look at that. As is a the PlayStation choice. camera. You, you, taking your little jabs in Microsoft. <laughs> we believe that the PlayStation camera would be a popular option because of the value it provides for more immersive gaming, but the response has far exceeded our expectations. And we're enhancing the value of the PlayStation camera and what it brings to PS4 by pursuing new, innovative technology that takes gaming to an entirely new Morpheus. dimension. At GDC in March, we unveiled Project Morpheus, which demonstrates how we are fully leveraging the power of the PlayStation camera. The response from the development community and gamers was phenomenal. All of your voices have been heard, and today there are creative teams around the world working with us to define the future of gaming and entertainment. We have Project Morpheus in our booth at E3 this Woo! year with two new demos, so I encourage all of you to stop by and try it. Up next is someone who has a 15-year history at PlayStation. That includes eight years at Worldwide Studios in London, and he also served as president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. I've personally known him for more than 20 years, and when I think of the game behind me, Ruben. I can't help but think of him. He was most recently the COO of Sony Network Entertainment, and now as president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America, he's charged with, quite simply, making sure PlayStation completely surpasses your wildest expectations. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sean Layden. There we go. Thank you. Jurassic Encounter, whenever you need Mitch. Uh, thank you, Andy. And, thank, and thanks to all of you for the, for the really warm welcome. Uh, out here on stage. Wow, there's a lot of people in this room. I've been to every E3 except the very first one, from Atlanta, from LA to Atlanta, then back to LA. I've sat where all of you are sitting now, but never thought for a second that I might have the honor and privilege of being on this stage before all of you. And while it is a great honor to be here, I gotta say that the strongest emotion I'm feeling right now is excitement. Woo! And, and more than a little pressure, but I'm completely and utterly thrilled to be here. As you've witnessed already, the thirst for innovation at PlayStation is tremendous. Our lineup of genre and blockbusting titles is a testament to that. And our desire to bring great games to all of you <laughs> is matched by our commitment to bring a great gaming experience throughout the world of PlayStation. So let's start by talking about PSN. Wait a second, Our are they not going to tell us more about and ever evolving To deliver the no, experience gamers want. And we have heard loud and clear what you're looking for. Powerful ways in which to share your experiences and connect with your friends and the growing PlayStation community. To that end, we continue to bring new tools to the PS4 faithful to enable that desire for shared experience, such as Share Factory, and the photo mode in Second Sun. And we'll continue to enhance our features that redefine how, when, and where gamers play. A quick look at that reality is frankly awesome. Nearly 95% of PS4s worldwide are connected to the network. And the social activity is astounding. More than one and a quarter billion hours have been spent gaming. More than one billion multiplayer sessions have been played on PS4 since launch. That's a lot of deathmatch. 
the share button on the DualShock 4 has been pressed 200 probably because million half times. of those are accidental presses As gamers thinking that it is the back and the community oh. to check out their gameplay <clears throat> i agree i have done i have done it <laughs> and more the last on accident than on purpose. will climb even higher <clears throat> when we bring youtube to ps4 later this year it's not on ps4 already with the simple press of the DualShock 4 share button ps4 gamers will be able to quickly upload video captures to their YouTube channel. What? I can't, that's you pretty will cool, also actually. be able to see your friends' shared YouTube videos in your What's New activity feed. PS4 is also the first console to allow you to live broadcast and spectate game sessions. Already, more than 150 million spectate sessions have been viewed on PS4 and we're constantly innovating this experience as well. Look, when you're watching at home some schlock horror movie, sometimes haven't you felt the need to, or the desire to scream at the, the television screen, look out behind you or don't open that door? Well now, only on PS4, you can effectively do just that while spectating. No and they way! Will Not only can you watch someone's gameplay in real time, you can now interact with that person's game experience while they're playing. You can help them, you can harm them, it's up to you. But you're right there with them. This is another way we're going to redefine what social gaming can really mean. This summer, we will further enhance PS4's broadcasting capabilities with some new content for The Playroom. The free DLC will allow you to easily create your own custom broadcasting sets so you can further personalize your message and content for the wider gamer, wider gamer community. It's pretty cool. Never losing sight of what has always made PlayStation great, we're using the network to bring you more of what you want. Awesome gaming experiences. Games that are epic and challenging, and games that are more accessible, Boo. such as free to play. We're committed to making game PlayStation the best destination for free to play games. I free to play offers that. a great like, way to I discover new worlds an and experiences. <laughs> That's what I'm keeping <laughs> that will explode on PlayStation in the coming years. Right now, we have more than 25 free to play games Ugh, on the PS4 freaks. in the next I gotta get months, more apple juice. Including <laughs> Kingdom Under Fire 2 from Blueside, Planet Side 2 from Sony Online Entertainment. There you go. And Guns Up from Valkyrie Entertainment. And on PlayStation, at point of entry, free to play means free to play. Let's take a look at that. Hey, it Planet got cut Side. Off. He said free to play means pay to win. What was, what was the last part? I don't know. But you know what? Side is a great game. I like Planet Side a lot. I never played it. So I can't say much. Yeah, did you play it when we had that stream? Maybe it was me. <laughs> no, I probably did. I played a lot of games, but I didn't play that long enough. I love reading these comments. Zero, zero fucks giving my kids. <laughs> Does it really show on my face that much? Loadout on PS4? I can't believe it! It's on PC! That's awesome! <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right. Shouldn't be so pessimistic. 
Well, they're still talking about free to play, so I think that you are okay with being free to play. What more do I have to say? Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. I tuned out, buddy. There you go. Huh? We just talked about ease of entry and the joy of discovery. <laughs> ease of and entry. And PlayStation I feel we continue to develop <laughs> and innovate simple ways to access content. PlayStation Now, fueled by the power of the network, will provide our community with access to our massive gaming libraries, starting with PlayStation 3 titles. We have continued to tweak and refine PS Now since its initial beta test, and are proud to announce that the service will be available in the United States and Canada as an open beta on PS4 starting July 31st. Okay, that's it's cool. not too far away, but I was thinking maybe today. Shortly after that, PS Now will become available on PS3 and PlayStation Vita cool. as well. We also, we also want to unlock our library of games to those who still don't own a PlayStation device. So later this year, we're bringing the PlayStation Now experience to select Sony televisions. If cool. PS Now is available in your area, all you need to do is get a DualShock 3 and you're able to play our vast catalog of games. Yay. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. During the open beta, PlayStation gamers will have access to more than 100 PS3 games from the industry's best publishers, our own worldwide studios, as well as the best of the indie development community. In our booth at E3 this week, you can play such major hits as Dead Space 3, God of War Ascension, Metal Gear really? Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, and Ultra wow, Street Fighter Ultra Street Fighter, Fighter, Fighter 4 is the one that gets the biggest pop. Oh, you're in the future. Well, you stop spoiling it for me. I'm Continue sorry. To listen to your it's feedback okay. and gather insights about your experience. But I don't think you service. realize you get to see some. We'll also work with our publishing me. partners. To oh, test okay. The range I'll try to hold my reaction. That's why people are getting mad at me. We do look forward so. to hearing from everyone who participates in the beta. Maybe refresh your. As your screen. voice will have a direct impact on the development of our service. Oh no, maybe I should refresh my stream. Bringing PlayStation Now to PlayStation Vita is another example of our commitment to the platform. With PS Now, Vita will have the best catalog of games available on a mobile device. And the only mobile device with access to the deep library of PlayStation games. Innovation on Vita continues, and its integration with PlayStation 4 has expanded the way gamers use the device. Remote play gives Vita owners quick access to PS4 games, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. With remote play, PS4 blockbusters, such as Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, will further showcase PlayStation Vita as the ultimate mobile platform. In total, there are more than 100 Vita titles in development today, including Tales of Hearts R from Namco, Ubisoft's beautifully hand-drawn RPG, Child of Light, and Telltale's mashup with Gearbox, Tales from Borderlands. <laughs> Minecraft is also coming to Vita, and it will be the full console experience with co-op included. Yeah, I guess. Minecraft. I guess, fans. but still, I have an PS NVIDIA Vita will remain a key that can stream my PC And we look forward to sharing more and gaming experience that across has the full Vita Minecraft. dedicated titles, PlayStation Now, and PS4 Remote Play. At Tokyo Game Show last year, we announced another new console, and the outpouring of anticipation and excitement was unprecedented. As a result, we are now preparing to launch that product in the United States, Canada, and Europe starting this fall. The Morpheus? So let's talk no, about PlayStation, PlayStation TV. PlayStation TV. Oh. I this was like, little what gem they will be able to pair with your PlayStation 4, <laughs> allowing you to play your PS4 game via remote play on a second television in your home. 
It will give you access to video and music streaming services. We'll give you the ability to play hundreds of PS3 titles made available through PlayStation Now. And of course, PlayStation TV will also play most Vita titles, as well as PS1 and PSP classics. In fact, our Disney partnership continues with Disney Infinity 2 coming to PlayStation TV and PlayStation Vita early next year. In total, that's nearly 1,000 games that PlayStation TV owners will have access to at launch. PlayStation TV will be available for $99. We will also offer a bundle for $139 that will include a DualShock 3, an 8 gigabyte memory card, an HDMI cable, and a Everything digital voucher awesome. for the Lego Movie video game. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. If you're singing along to a song that's coming new out games. soon in the stream, <laughs> new hardware, new network <laughs> services. The pace of innovation at PlayStation continues to accelerate. And as our world expands, we will stay true to our roots to create imaginative games that foster fun while pioneering new gaming concepts. A little earlier, I was delighted to hear Andy give a shout out to one of the most iconic games of our time, Vibra. Yeah, give it up for the game that I made. Yeah, <laughs> Vibra. A personal favorite of Vibra mine been. that really embodies the PlayStation spirit. <laughs> it wasn't a multi-million seller, but that's not the point. Viv Ribbon was unafraid to go against the tide. It was courageous in its ambition, and it brought a completely new experience to gamers. Wait, did he? I, didn't they it's say that he was part of, be part of the Ribbon? PlayStation family? I don't remember what exactly he said. I look forward to growing our gaming community through breakthrough experiences that inspire and delight. After all, guys, it's all about the games, isn't it? <laughs> and speaking of games, in 1996, I got my start at PlayStation in Japan, importing and localizing games from the US and Europe for the Japanese market. That's kind of like trying to import wine into Napa Valley. <laughs> but one of the first games we localized we was Mortal, Mortal Kombat? Kombat 3 on PS1. <laughs> the game that introduced the concept of fatality to the Japanese gamer. That's why. It's a tremendous pleasure and a unique thrill for me to introduce on this stage the Yee! worldwide premiere okay, I'm excited of again. gameplay footage for Mortal Kombat X. You're a second ahead. I'm, I'm like constantly wanting to refresh, but I can't. So just give it like another second to Murderer. I tire of maintaining our innocence. So I will relieve you, you of your burden. No, it's you could fend this one, Thra. What Ladybug do about it? Exterminate. Oh, this is good. Oh my gosh. Are we seeing this? Wow. Scorpion's got some new tricks. Finish him. <laughs> 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 
looks good. <laughs> really, what can you say? <laughs> Thanks, Sean. At PlayStation, we know building a portfolio of incredible games is paramount. But we also know that PS4 owners are using the console extensively for watching their favorite movies, TV shows, and listening to music. Millions of PS4 owners are using the likes of Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Hulu Plus, and Music Unlimited. And our entertainment offering on PS4 is about to take a new superhero twist. Sony is one of the largest entertainment brands in the world, and we're fully utilizing its vast resources to bring new experiences and more value to PS4. Last year, Michael Linton joined us on stage to announce that Sony Pictures Entertainment Can't is developing it. brand new original yeah. programming available exclusively on PS4 it? and the network. And we're not just bringing any new content to our platform. In line with our focus on the highest quality entertainment experiences, we're developing and curating content that is tailored specifically to what gamers love most. Our first original series is called Powers, and is based on the critically acclaimed graphic novel series, thank you, of the same name created by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Oming. In addition to Powers, I know many of you are familiar with Brian's work with Marvel, as he is one of the highest selling Marvel comic writers ever. He also sits on the Marvel Creative Committee and has consulted on every Marvel movie since Iron Man. Please join me in giving a great PlayStation welcome to Powers co-creator and executive producer for the series, Brian Michael Bendis. I maybe is this an exclusive thing to PlayStation? It seems like it. That's wow. Weird. This guy looks oh, like uh, Alfred Andy. Hitchcock, Hello, kinda. PlayStation Nation. It is an honor to be here personally. I hope he has an Alfred Hitchcock And we are so excited to officially announce to you that Powers has been greenlit two series from Sony Television and PlayStation. Thank you. For those of you who don't know what Powers is, Powers is based on the comic book and graphic novel series of the same name, created by myself and artist Michael Avon Oming, and it tells the story of Christian Walker and Dina Pilgrim, two homicide detectives that work cases specifically about Powers. That means if the greatest superhero in the world suddenly falls dead from the sky, if the, one of the most notorious supervillains of all time is found dead in a gutter, that's their case. And Walker, Christian Walker, has a secret. He used to be a power, but now he's down here with us having lost his powers, and it is his job to answer for those who cannot answer for themselves the dead powers of our universe. Um, some of these cases will be some of his oldest friends. Some of these cases will be his longest running enemies. Uh, but every case is going to show us something new about our characters. It's going to show us something about what we've developed in the comic, which is a pretty sprawling mythology of, about superheroes. And it's also going to show us what a world with superheroes would really be like, how we would really treat them, how they would immerse our culture, how they would affect our fashion. And we're just immensely proud of it, and we're immensely proud that we're I checked out to bring it to your television. What kind of game is it? Now, I, I'm, it's not I'm a, game a gamer, I'm a game writer, and I know that gamers and comic book lovers, we love our genre hardcore. We love our genres to mash up and to show us something new, to show us something original. And one of my jobs as executive producer of the show is to make sure that the TV show gives us what the comic book gave us, that it has all the integrity and everything that we've built all there with all the authenticity that we can muster. Now, the good news is we have this great team behind the scenes. Our showrunner is award-winning novelist Charlie Houston. Our executive Houston? producer we is Renny Obushan this from This guy's not talking about video games. Our other executive producer is David Engel from Circle Confusion, and they brought us The Walking Dead. Now, this relieves me to no end that this will be the powers that I want to see on TV, that hopefully is the powers that you want to see on TV. As we what see is Sony doing? They did so well last year. I mean, they've done a great job until now. announcements and teases 
and all kinds I of stuff. I just think this online. was made for San Diego uh, Comic Con. But like, couldn't just they to give you something for today, longer? let's show you some uh, brand this is new great concept news, art but not today. that just came from our concept artist, and I think it shows you just a little taste of what we're going to have, which is like everything I love about you know gritty crime fiction and spectacular superheroes mashed up together what? for something completely new. On behalf of Michael Avon Oming and the producers and everyone working on the show, the writers, I want to thank Sony Television, I want to thank PlayStation, and thank all of you who have been so vocal in your support of the book for all these years and the idea of a TV show. I mean, they got to be going we'll for another two hours or another 30 minutes, right? Thank because you very much. They can't end on that. I don't have that much time. I'm going to have to stop this stream at some point. This has like been going since six, right? Yeah. It's an hour and a half. Thanks, Brian. Like, what do they PlayStation expect? PlayStation 4 owners won't have to wait long for power, so I'm happy to announce that it will be available in the U.S. in December. We want to make sure that as many PlayStation fans as possible get an opportunity to experience our vision for original content. So every PSN user in the U.S. will get to watch the first episode of Powers for free. Oh, as the first aware, episode? We're constantly Fuck bringing you. more value to the PlayStation. Getting more apple juice, system. bitch. <laughs> Today, this comes in the form of discounted games, early access to beta programs, and the instant game collection, which has resulted in a 190% increase in Global Plus subscribers since the PS4 launch. We'll be adding more value to Plus in the future by including our original programming. I'm pleased to announce that all Plus subscribers in the US will be able to view the entire Powers series for free. In addition to original content, right, we're well, also leveraging worldwide studios well-loved PlayStation Plus members to watch the entire media thing. channels to bring new right. theatrical content to existing PlayStation fans and entirely okay, new Okay, I'm audiences. excited for this. Here's a look at Ratchet and Clank, the movie. Guys, Mitch is excited for something. Everybody calm down. We're gonna watch. Ranger. Doing big things like Captain Cork. You don't have what it takes. Wait, go, just give me a chance. All right, no time. Galaxy and Jeopardy, get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long you never as play the Ratchet and Clank games, right? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a close one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is going to show up on my mid-year review. Ratchet and Clank creator Insomniac Games is heavily involved in the film, and we're also working with the studio to reimagine the original Ratchet and Clank for PS4. The oh, game will feature completely new visuals me. and gameplay sequences that will rival the best PS4 games on the market. Both the movie and game will be available in the first half of 2015. And we'll continue to release exclusive content and titles only available on PlayStation that are nothing short of amazing. We announced in April that The Last of Us, a game that won more than 200 Game of the Year awards last year, is being remastered Ooh, okay, let's see this. PS4. Let's see what's in store. It's not gonna look any better, is it? That game looked. Oh, it's amazing. gonna look amazing. Are you kidding? That game looked so good already. Please, 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 please. This is one of the few games that made me. I don't even remember cry or nearly. Like
you're right. But I'm sure in person it must, right? But the game looked so good to begin with. Yeah, you're right. As you've seen tonight, we have the industry's best developers creating games for PS4 right now. And there's more. A long-standing partnership with Kojima Productions and Konami has been a staple of the PlayStation history. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a new trailer that some of you might have gotten <laughs> a sneak peek of last this. night. This has to end soon. I actually have to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, you gotta well, go. This is probably the, the last game, game, right? No, I mean they're not going to end. This they're not going to end on Metal Gear. I've got probably at most ten more minutes before I have to leave. You got a show? I got something. <laughs> it's not quite a show, but it takes longer to explain. Than it's Standing on the edge of the crater, like the prophets once said, and the ashes are all cold now, no more bullets, and the embers are dead. We have a meaning with these guys, right? Yeah. Whispers in the air Tell the tales of the brothers gone Desolation, devastation What a mess we made when it all went wrong Watching from the edge of the circus. Those Donnie's ashes. For the games to begin. What? I said, are those Donnie's ashes? I don't know. Who's Donnie? You know, he's out of his element all the time. A friend of the dude. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> if it would have worked, it would have been without saying No, this is this is engine. That's cool. I mean, it looks really good. Looking at the abyss. And I'm hoping for some minutes. I mean you've never played any Melger games. Games games. You are you're missing out. Which is weird. My dad beat Metal Gear Solid 3. And I never played it once. And my dad's only probably beat. Maybe, maybe. Play Metal Gear Solid 1, it will surprise you how uh, how far ahead of its time it was. And Metal Gear Solid 2, actually, the same thing. I think he played Metal Gear Solid 2, I just don't know. There's three that he beat. Expect. It's hard you, to get into the younger solid. Like, I think does it looks that make cool. sense I mean, to you? Like, you're like, I'm oh, sure they're doing this with if the I, story? If I examined it with like a fine comb, I would probably Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4 is going to be amazing. And now, let's take a look at something from a company that I've had a personal relationship with since the PS2 era. 
Their games have kept places. Yeah, James, if you gotta go, you should go because this isn't gonna be over till eight. As they pioneered new genres and new experiences. Take a look. There's gotta be a piece, a PC version. I'm thrilled to announce that Grand Theft Auto Five is coming to PlayStation Four this fall. Well, it's hard to say exclusively. Grand Theft also... Auto Five takes full advantage of the power of PS4 and features a host of enhancements and new details for players to discover. Plus, the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the PlayStation 4. That's awesome. Not done yet. Another game that I get the honor of sharing with you tonight is from the acclaimed studio Rocksteady and publishing giant Warner Brothers. This is Batman, right? Yep. Please, take a look. All right, I'm gonna leave this stream going. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's just me. Ooh, boob armor. on the north end of Miyagani Island. The area is heavily protected oh, by the good. Arkham Knight's drone forces. Wow, this Be looks careful. so good. I'm on my way. Oh my god, I cannot wait to play this. I think I'm going to be playing this at E3 to, uh, this, this, uh, in a couple days. <laughs> Batman doesn't give a fuck about the city of Gotham, apparently. <laughs> Look at all this collateral damage he's causing. Breaking statues, ignoring traffic laws. Thugs getting these uh, tanks from. Ah, the stream! Fear takedown available. What does that mean? Knight. 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 Knight.
So that's who we had. How many more bones will you crush? How many lives will you destroy in pursuit of what you call justice? You are the product of everything you fear. Violence, darkness, helplessness. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. Damn, Scarecrow. Going through the ugly, the ugly machine. Spectacular and even more smoke than at the EA press conference. Batman Arkham Knight on PlayStation 4 will be amazing and comes with Scarecrow nightmare missions that are only available on PlayStation. PlayStation remains steadfast in Come our on, commitment we gotta get to one provide more gamers the get thrills, uncharted, deep narrative please. experiences, and challenging gameplay they desire. Our team of creative minds is passionate about doing one thing better than anyone else, creating the best place to play. I'd like to leave you with one last title from one of the finest studios in the world that captures the very best of the PlayStation spirit. Thank you all so much, and have a wonderful evening. Uncharted. It's gotta be Uncharted. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. A game by Naughty Dog, right? Right? Okay. So, we all think? know where it is. A lot to take in, kid. Where do I even start? You've been out of the game for a long time. Or maybe I need to remind you the kind of people we'd be crossing here. This can't be in game footage. Sully, I know the risks. But come on, it's a surefire plan. <laughs> yeah. If there's one thing I've learned in all these years, it's there's no such thing as a surefire plan. I don't really have an option here. You know that. And yeah, maybe you're right. I've been out of the game, but I need back in. So can I count on you? One last time. All right, kid. Let's go do it. One last time. One last time, please. We gotta keep on doing this as long as it makes money. Alright, so, uh, so I guess we should uh, talk about some thoughts, uh, I'm gonna be honest, you may not be able to tell from my, uh, my expression during this whole conference, but it was a little disappointing, I mean, there were, there were definitely some high points, don't get me wrong, uh, Lil Big Plant 3 had one of the best demos of the show so far, um, Order looked pretty cool, um, what else was there, there was the Bloodborne reveal, which, as much as I love that, uh, love that it's coming out. The reveal wasn't that great. I mean, it was a CG trailer. Uh, not not I'm much back. to get me very excited. Back. Oh, you're back. Headphones, I can't hear. You're uh, back. I can fix that. I can fix 
I was just recapping my thoughts. It looks like it's over. What we're, what, what, what we're watching? Oh, is this Uncharted? You missed it. You missed Uncharted. That's probably the end, right? Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't that. I mean, it was beautiful. It, that was in engine. Uh, that's the best looking game of all time, far none. Final outro. I think it's for you. Okay. Okay. You're more Ready. professional than us. That's it. I that's literally it. walked in for the very end. Yep. So, Mitch, this is the last of the day. I'm going to ask a couple questions of you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring this down. We're gonna try something different. One thing about us is we, uh, we are definitely on the fly moving. Let's raise this thing there. Do you have any lights you can turn on, Mitch? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hold on. You do that. And almost two hours later, here we are at the end of the Sony press conference, uh, getting a little taste oh. of Uncharted 4 at the end there, and a little disappointment. No last go. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're all so calm. What are we watching? I'm, really, turn that I'm off. really shocked. <laughs> Everything was, was all there. All, all the, the rumors were there. Boy, they're, they're doing, doing what I was thinking. We're going to do a recap. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was doing a recap until you came back. Of everything or just a PlayStation? Of, well, of PlayStation. Oh, well, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> but I'm thinking let's let's talk about the day because we saw a total of four press conferences and I'm almost ready to have us at like equal playing fields. Here we go. There, that's pretty good. If you sit up a little straighter, I'm a little right. bigger, but I think I'm a little bigger in real life too. Like just take up a wee bit more space. So. I'm gonna... Can you hear me? I can hear you. And there's still people watching, so we're not talking to ourselves. What was the number one game you saw all day long? And you don't have to answer right now. Let's talk about some other things, but let's save that answer for the end. All right. First of all, who do you think won the con the conference contest today? We have mm. in competition Sony, Microsoft, which are really the only competitors against each other. Then we watched Ubisoft and EA. But who do you think walked uh, away as a clear, confident winner of uh, press conferences? Uh, it's it's really not even a contest for me. Microsoft uh, Microsoft pulled it out this year. Yeah. Microsoft consistently uh, had game after game of like cool demo, cool demo, cool demo, and it was all about the games in their conference. So uh, it, it you know Microsoft Microsoft needed uh, to be to to bring it. Big, uh, bring it big this year, and they did. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, yeah, I actually I, I agree. Also, off. I thought that they did a really good job. I, I was, I, I don't want to say surprised. I expected it from them because they, I feel like they knew they had to do that this year. Um, right. Who do you think was the big loser overall in press conference? Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't think that there's a loser in any of these, um, but. Sony's was just too long, and just there, like I, like I was saying, there was some great stuff in in Sony's conference. The yeah. little Big Planet Three demo was spectacular. Um, I thought the, the the order looked pretty cool. Um, didn't really get to see all that much of it, um, but yeah, I thought that looked cool. What else was in the Sony demo? The the reveal of Bloodborne was was pretty nice, even though it was a CG trailer. It would have been way better if it wasn't a CG trailer. Yeah, I agree. And uh, and yeah, that, so, Sony disappointed me the most. I was ex I was expecting Ubisoft to disappoint me. EA I thought did pretty well. Yeah, I thought I, I thought so too. Uh, I I think I Ubisoft was the big loser today. Um, I I thought everybody did a great job, but if I was going to pick one. It's tough because Sony made so, Sony's really close. They had so many technical errors. They went too long. They threw in that stuff about watching TV on the thing. I, I'm not interested in it. But what they did have was the number one game I'm looking forward to, which I'll ask yours in a moment. But I don't even know the name of it. The one about space, you know, Starbound no, times no Man's a million. Sky. No Man's Sky. That yeah, game, but that see that's the other thing about Sony's Sony's conference that was kind of disappointing. 
uh, all those games were just console, like they 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 had the console debut on on PlayStation Four. They're gonna be on Steam first, and maybe you know, wait, maybe, you think uh, that game's gonna that's... be on Steam first? Oh yeah, for sure. No Man's Sky. I'm that's pretty awesome. sure it's not gonna be a uh, Sony exclusive. But you know what? I might be I might be wrong. Let me uh, let me verify that. Yeah, really do quick. a quick verification. But that game was my favorite I saw all day long, and I hadn't seen it like you had. Um, second favorite was uh, I thought Little Big Planet was amazing. I'm pretty excited about that. And overall, I thought Sony had a lot of great stuff to show. Would have liked to see a little bit more about Morpheus. They might be saving that for the floor. But they had some mm. tech issues. Ubisoft, I walked away not really caring that much about. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I agree, and uh, uh, I think Morpheus is just going to be those three demos on the floor. There's going to be the EVE Online one, the Jurassic uh, Encounter one, and there was some other thing. I don't remember yeah. what. But so, yeah. what's your favorite game you saw today? You know, here's, here's the thing. Um, I don't want to say favorite game. I want to say favorite demonstration. I want I want to keep it to what impressed me the most in terms of a demonstration. A little big plan, right? No, you know honestly no. Okay, that that mind. was really good. Never mind. But uh, but Sunset Overdrive looks really 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 good. I cannot. It's it's exactly my style of game, and I, I can't wait to uh, to try that out. Um, it well, lo- I agree. Honestly, but- I, I thought you if, if you were to, to see that you would you would similarly kind of flip out because it looks like something that's up your alley too. No, it looked like it was up my alley. I only got to see bits and pieces of it because I was trying to figure out how to stream at that time with both of us. But what it looked like was a Dead Rising arcade version, and then we have a Dead Rising arcade version coming out also. So I kind of didn't really think about no. it too much. You uh, you did. I, I wasn't did. watching it 100. percent I'll check it out. <laughs> It's uh, it, it, to me it looks like a uh, a cross between, uh, something like Resistance in terms of like the the crazy weaponry that you get, uh, Jet Set Radio, which was you know a a roller skating game, and Tony Hawk, where, it you know it's it's not about killing enemies, it's about how you kill them, um, and, and doing it with style and like kill like grinding on a rail. Shooting a, a rocket launcher, blasting off from the rocket launcher, grabbing a zip line, swinging over to another area, and it looks really cool. It looked cool. Don't get me wrong, but it just didn't. It didn't strike my memory. I, I, I am gonna have to look at it at E three to see because I, I had my attention so split at that time. Yeah. So, the final question. But in terms of like, what was my favorite game? Honestly, I, I, I gotta go with Uncharted Four because. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and chart. It, it if that was in game, like I said, it's gonna be the best looking game I've I've ever seen. Um, and you know, I'm I'm I just love the Uncharted series so much. So, but it again, it it the demo wasn't it, the demonstration of it wasn't very impressive. It was just Nathan Drake basically getting up, talking to Sully, and then walking into a forest area. Um, and what is the first thing you're gonna try to play at E3? Smash Brothers. We didn't even need. Are you gonna watch the Nintendo thing tomorrow morning, or you don't need to? Yeah. Because... I mean, it's early enough. Uh, I, th- Is it? I think it's. I'm gonna yeah, have I to leave it's... by. It's at 8 a.m. So I have to leave by then to go to E3. Yeah, I mean, E3 is not. It's about 30, 40 minutes away from me. Yeah. Cool. So I should be able to to make it in time. All right. Good. Yeah. Uh, they want to know what you thought of Batman, and I think that that's a, Batman looks that's incredible. Reason. You think so? I thought you were. Yeah. F- you sounded like you were kind of disappointed in it before today. No, Batman looks awesome. <laughs> I cannot wait to play that. Uh, I, I I'm interested to see what they do with the combat. Um, I it, it's tough with messing with Batman's combat because you know you have to tinker with it a little because you got you got to keep things fresh. But the combat is already so good. It's so good, James. What about Dead Rising 2? The the Ultra Super Mega Arcade Edition Sigma Alpha Plus. Yeah. Is that what you're talking I about? I think that we're talking about the same thing. Dead Rising 2? Dead Rising? The no, one that, you mean Dead I Island. To, oh, I'm sorry. Dead Island. And it Dead Island like it took place uh, had on... a CG trailer. I don't care. Yeah, but it looked like it was <laughs> I, in Venice. You're not going to impress me with CG trailers. All right. 
Even if you're Bloodborne. What if you're Uncharted? If, I, I don't think that was a CG trailer. You don't I think know. That was, so I don't when know. you find out one way or the other, are you going to be disappointed in, De- in Uncharted? I, I yeah, I, I would I, I would be it. a little disappointed if, if that was a CG trailer. But I have, I have faith in Naughty Dog that that was actually in-game footage because they constantly impress me with every console generation of what they're able to do. All right. Well, you heard it here now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. Don't forget to like. Or Comment. I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm going to put this up on YouTube like right away so you can give our usual YouTube out. I'm going to put our post-conference stuff... This, this, I'm going to put this on YouTube. Cool. Well, then don't forget to like. Comment. And subscribe. We will see you tomorrow on the show floor. James, I will see you tomorrow on the show floor. I can't wait. It's going to be a great time. All right. See you guys later.